Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, this is kind of the opposite video of the last one that I posted about syncing capabilities. And the reason I made it separate is because a lot of people are going crazy with the sync capabilities when they don't want that to work. So they will have a PC, they'll set up a second PC, and they say, wow, everything syncs and I don't want that. What the hell is happening? And it has to do with the fact that if you use a Microsoft account, sync is on by default. And that means everything syncs between the different machines you have. So when you actually set up a new Windows PC, it's very important. If you don't want any of that to happen, when you log in with your Microsoft account, go to your settings, go to your accounts, make sure that when you actually set it up, because one of the first things is setting up an account with a Microsoft account, it's gonna ask you if you wanna sync. It's important to say no from that time on. A lot of people end up with syncing because they just reply yes to everything. And then they end up with, you know, um, I've got a problem, I, everything syncs and I don't want it. So simply go to the accounts page, go into your sync settings on the left, make sure that you turn off sync in this page. Once that is done, there will be no more syncing of settings, wallpapers, themes, uh, anything. You can also go about in doing it with certain things. For example, maybe the themes is what you don't wanna have in some of the Windows settings. What you could do is just remove themes and other Windows settings, for example, and keep only what you want. If, for example, the only thing you want to have synced is passwords, then just turn off the other sliders and just keep passwords. Passwords will sync. That will be useful for most people, but none of the settings and the themes of your different machines will sync together. Just a password will. So this could be uh, very useful. Most of the comments I've seen of people going crazy with sync settings is the fact that the themes follow. And it's really the number one thing I see is themes and settings follow. And people don't want that. They want to have different machines with different settings, different themes, and that it doesn't mix in and all become the same everywhere. Uh, so make sure that you just turn off the settings. And, you know, easiest way is if you don't want to have anything synced, just rem just put the first slider at off at the top on sync settings, it will actually stop everything. So in my case, I'll put things back on because I want to have it, but um, it is uh, one of them, probably one of the number one comments I see all the time that they don't want to have sync, they don't understand why it syncs, and they're going crazy because they don't get it. Once again, remember when you set up your Microsoft account, you have that question. Do you want to sync between PCs? Just already answer no at that prompt. But if you go on and click yes at everything, then you'll have to go into the settings here and make sure that you turn off the sync settings. Be quick because once these settings are actually on, a lot of things sync in a pretty much a record amount of time. It doesn't take long your PC will feel and be like the other PCs. If, it, that, if that does happen, then what you could do is just turn off sync and then go manually change all the things that you want to have back to whatever normal is for that PC that you're using. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.